All right, welcome back everybody to Pharmacist Online. We're gonna be doing another deep dive today. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're gonna to be talking about what are GLP-1 agonists and why are they so popular? Mm -hmm. So it's really relevant for people like you guys listening right now because mm -hmm. GLP-1 agonists like sampaglutide are really kind of like, they're making a big splash both in weight loss and in diabetes management. Yeah. So we're gonna be kind of unpacking that, like taking a deep dive into the science and the significance of these medications so welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to talk to you about this. So, like, let's just jump right in. What exactly are GLP-1 agonists? Like, how would you explain it? So GLP-1 agonists are basically a group of medications that work by mimicking a naturally occurring hormone in your body. And that hormone is called GLP-1. Okay, GLP-1. Glucagon-like peptide 1. And your body releases this hormone after you eat. Oh, interesting. Okay. It has some pretty cool effects. Right. So our bodies already make this. Right. So what does this GLP-1 do? So it does a few things. Um, first of all, it helps to lower your blood sugar levels by stimulating insulin release from your pancreas. Okay. Which is why they're so good for treating type 2 diabetes. Right. Yeah. But this is where it gets really interesting. Um, GLP-1 also acts on your brain, specifically in areas that regulate appetite and like make you feel full so satiety okay so it kind of slows down how quickly your stomach empties gotcha which makes you feel fuller for longer and it also reduces your cravings wow so it's like a double whammy that's kind of cool yeah. so it's like not only is it helping with blood sugar but it's also like right helping you feel fuller for longer less cravings and that's why it's making such a big impact exactly all right if you guys are finding this information really interesting, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Pharmacist Online for more deep dives into the world of medicine and health. Um, okay, so, you know, we talk about how it's got like this dual action mm -hmm. on both blood sugar and appetite. So, I mean, you, obviously everybody's interested in, in the weight loss part of it. Like, h how much weight can people realistically expect to lose if they take this medication? So, yeah, clinical trials have shown really promising results. Yeah. You know, yeah. like people can lose a pretty significant amount of weight, oftentimes more than they would with just diet and exercise alone. Right. Um, some studies have even shown weight loss comparable to what you might see with bariatric surgery. Wow. Although it's really important to remember those are two very different approaches Absolutely. with different risks and benefits. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it is impressive. Right. Okay. Yeah, that is that's really impressive. So I know like research is always moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's what does the future look like for these medications? Are there any like new uses that people are researching right now? Yeah, definitely. Um there's a lot of really exciting research going on right now exploring their potential use in other areas beyond just diabetes and weight loss. Like what? So there's promising research looking at its use for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is becoming more and more common. Yeah. And some studies are even looking at it for like neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, but it's still very early days for that. Right. Okay. Wow. That's really incredible. So basically we've kind of We've seen that like GLP-1 agonists have this like super interesting dual action. Yeah. Right? They regulate blood sugar and they influence appetite. And that kind of leads to these benefits for both diabetes and weight management. Yeah. And on top of that, there's all this other stuff that, that, that might be coming out in the future. I mean, I don't know. I think this is really fascinating. And I think it's something that everyone should really be thinking about. And, you know, if you enjoyed this deep dive, I think it's something that, you know, you guys should share with your friends and family, too. Definitely. I mean, it's an exciting area of medicine, a lot of promise. Absolutely. So thank you so much for joining us and sharing your expertise with us today. It was really, it was a pleasure talking to you. It was great to be here. And for all of our listeners out there, until next time, keep asking questions and keep learning and keep diving deep into the world around you. We'll see you guys next time on Pharmacist Online.